start today with my wax empties for the week. I have quite a bit of wax and I'm looking at all these empty candles. We have quite a bit to get through. Before we jump into that, I want to welcome you if you're new to the channel. I hope you decide to stick around and subscribe down below. And I want to welcome you back if you're a returning visitor or subscriber. I'm so glad to have you as a part of this channel. Well, let's jump in all the candles. I don't think we had that many last week, did we? I don't, did we have any? I don't know, but they all get transferred over. Because, <laughs> you know, if I have just a little bit to go, I finish them up. So yeah, we have quite the stack here. So the first one I have here is Autumn. This is a last year's packaging. You'll notice it got a little schmutzy on the outside of the glass or around as it was burning. I don't normally mind that as long as it burns well, and it did. The scent notes for this say bright red gala apple, juicy fig, eucalyptus leaf, and fir balsam. I will say it's funny because last year I really didn't notice a lot of the fir balsam. I burned a couple of them last year. I stocked up. I probably have, I think I might have three or four more of these from this year. I just love this. It's such a bright, juicy apple to me. It smells like you're eating an apple walking through the woods. I've said it before because I have burned this one before. I just love this. I will forever pick this up. But yeah, I have a few in my stash. So unless it was on, you know, candle day pricing or, you know, just like a clearance deal, I probably wouldn't get any more this year just because I have a few in in my stash or back stock already. The next one I have here is Homeworks. This is Autumn Pumpkin Patch. It says heirloom pumpkin, fresh ginger, red apple, and cinnamon sugar. This one went all the way down and burned itself out. I liked this. Now, I don't like this as much as Pumpkin Carving by Bath & Body Works. That one is probably my favorite, although that one this year I will say I did have it burning over the weekend for Halloween. It, it's so strong. It is, oh my gosh. <laughs> that one's a really strong candle. I wish it was a little bit more pumpkin-y. For some reason this year, I feel like I get almost, it's not really perfumey, but there's another note to it that's kind of coming out, but we'll talk about it then. This one was nice. I feel like it has a similar scent and vibe to pumpkin carving. So if you, I mean, those are probably gone in stores at this point or are being clearanced out. You can still find this one and you want a nice pumpkin candle for November or even to carry over till next year. I would recommend this. You know, these burn so, so well. I'd never have a problem with the candles. I also put it on a hurricane, which does help. It pools out immediately. And usually, you know, you could put these out within two hours just because they the flames get so vicious. <laughs> in that hurricane I'm telling you or maybe just take the hurricane top off in any case these burn so well I would say this is a nice pumpkin type of fragrance with some spices in it I like it better than traditional you know like pumpkin pie type of candles those to me are just way too spicy I don't know why manufacturers make them that way but they typically do on the pumpkin train you will see that I'm just on a pumpkin but Pumpkin pecan waffles kick mainly, but anyway, you will see that upcoming hauls, baskets, it's been crazy. So anyway, <laughs> we burned a couple of pumpkin pecan waffles candles here, these two single wicks. I burn them in my office, so in front of me I have a large desk here, and I can burn two of the single wicks in here and get some nice scent throw in this office. And then sometimes I'll put them out in the living room and kind of spread them out. And I, it's okay. I wouldn't sit, don't go into this getting a single wick thinking you're going to fill a large room or even a room like this by itself. You're probably going to need more than one. But I like them. They're nice ambiance candles. It kind of spreads the scent versus one candle in one location. So I do like them and I get them on sale. I never pay... <laughs> the you know $14.50 for these candles never do that they go on sale and you can grab them then there was a $5.95 single wick sale on Saturday I believe it was and I did grab several candles I love these burn really really nicely although I will say there's a lot of wax still in the bottom I might put them on a hot plate you know one at a time obviously and just let some of the scent kind of dissipate because I love the scent or I can always dig it out and put it in a warmer, but there's that. 
Okay, so what I'm doing is I have a candle crock in here and I actually just placed an order for another candle crock I'm gonna put in my bedroom just because, you know, there are a lot of candles that aren't as good burning in terms of scent throw as they are melting in a candle crock and they do so well in the candle crock. I'm like, you know what? Why am I wasting? <laughs> Why am I wasting the time and the money burning them when they smell so much better in a smaller room in a candle crock. So I think that's what I'm going to do using up some of the candles that I have that I know perform really, really well in a candle crock. I'm going to do it that way. I used this in this candle crock last week and I didn't have it taken out in time. It wasn't cool to take out. So typically what I do is I put them in on Monday morning. I'll turn it on fresh and it melts, I keep it on the entire week. I don't turn it on and off, I just leave it on. You could turn it on and off if you wanted, but to me, it takes a while for the wax to pull out again, so I haven't been doing that. <laughs> and so I put it on Monday morning, and then on Sunday, usually afternoon or early evening, I turn it off, I let the wax harden again, take it out on Monday and replace it. So that is what I am doing. I think that's been, it's been going good the last couple of weeks. I had burned this one a few times just to put the wax, get the wax down a little bit. These are so full and I feel like these wet, they kind of like bubble up as it's melting and it always scares me. So I like to burn these a couple of times. You'll see I had a little bit of soot going on and that's kind of, you know, whenever I see soot like that, I'm like, ooh, no, we're going in the crack. And I tend to like to put these in the crack anyway. These are not my favorite jar style, so I probably won't get a lot of them going forward here and there. If that's the only way I can get the scent, I will. But this was okay. I would say that it did good in this office. I couldn't smell it when I had it burning. I had it in my kitchen, and then I moved it next to me in the living room. Couldn't really smell it. I would say this is a cupcake. I got almost a Cupcakes at Tiffany's vibe, which is kind of, to me, it's kind of like creamy chocolatey with a hint of like, not, I don't know. It like milky caramel. I don't know how to explain it. Cause it's not like caramel apple caramel. I don't know. It's kind of like mixed together, like chocolate, chocolate with a hint of caramel in it to me. That's kind of what cupcakes at Tiffany smells like. So yeah, that's what this reminded me of. It wasn't super strong. I would say even in this small office, it's probably like a three or a four in the crack so I wouldn't get it again it was like I said it was really kind of light but glad I tried it I'm sure I got it on a good sale so <laughs> I got it last year by the way so so the next one we had was pumpkin vanilla pumpkin marshmallow and this was this year's weird packaging I think this was probably the best of the packaging I don't know but look at I mean it is so like met I don't know like it doesn't seem like it's pooling if I put it in a crock, obviously that would all melt and go away, but it's just weird. We had a little bit of discoloration, not, it wasn't, I mean, yeah, probably get, getting a little discolored and probably because I let it go so long at the bottom, it went over the three hour time that I normally let them go because I don't, especially with a, like a vanilla candle, I don't want them to get scorched or get dark. So usually I stick to two to three hours and this one, when it gets so far down to the bottom, I'm like, just burn yourself out. So the scent notes say Tahitian vanilla pumpkin spice, spice, yes, pumpkin spice, homemade marshmallow, drizzled caramel. This is nice, but it's very light. So this would probably be a really good one to use in a candle crock in a smaller room or use this three wick in a smaller room. If you want something light, you have relatives coming over maybe. You don't want to blow them out of the house with with scent. I think something like that is really nice. It's a nice background kind of ambiance type of candle without blowing your socks off. I will always get one of these for the holidays, you know, for Halloween or fall. To me, this just screams fall. Even though it's light, I just love it. It just, it's one of those that I can see like kicking off like October. I don't know. It's just one of those candles. I picked up several of these from Walmart. They had them um, in different scents. They had apple, they had pumpkin. I have vanilla going in the crock for this week and they had a really good cereal scent. There were other ones, but those are the ones that appealed to me. 
This is Appley Ever After, Baked Apple Cinnamon and Spice from Walmart. I think these were like five, I don't know, they do those weird, like 5.33, whatever. So this one, yeah, it burned itself out all the way down to the bottom. I can still smell it. The funny thing about this is they have, so this I think is the, is it the Mainstays brand? I don't know that it says that. But I think that it is, it says distributed by Walmart. But in any case, it smells to me like another scent that they have that is supposed to be a, like a cinnamon. Well, it's like apple, is it apple pie or something? Can't, or strudel, apple strudel, maybe that's the one that it is, which reads cherry to me. And I don't know why, but it does. It, it reads like those Luden's cherry cough drops. <laughs> I don't know along with apple and it's so funny because so it's like an apple cherry strudel scent without a ton of bakery i had my husband smell it too and he's like i smell cherry so not just me we liked it this was better than a lot of the apple spice scents i have figured out i do not like them like that mulling spice ugh, i do not like it but i love juicy fresh apple or a scent like this that's way less on the spice the spices were definitely in the background on this I think I have at least, I'm going to drop it. Wow, I grabbed it. I think I have at least one more of these, so I will enjoy it. I might save it for next season. I don't know, or it might go in the candle crock. It was good, but it was definitely more of an apple cherry type of blend. All right, let me move some of these. These are the candles. We got through a lot. Candle burning machine this week. I have one little one I forgot here from Kringle Candle. This was from last year, Apple Cider Donut. One of these single wicks. I, t I saw Mr. Kong's mom, Melanie, talking about Kringle and her reasons why she decided to give them another chance. And so I thought, you know what? I have a couple of these small, like, I don't know. They're not even single wicks. They're just like kind of trial candles, I guess. I don't know what they call them. 1.5 ounce candle and it says up to 12 hours. I decided to just light it kind of like an ambiance type of thing. I had some other candles going. Could I really smell it? Not that much. Obviously had other things going at the same time, but I did smell it, you know, by itself, by itself a couple of times. And I love the scent. You will see a Kringle haul. I did grab a couple of things based on Melanie's, I don't know, report back, I guess it would be. I thought, you know what, I'll give them a try as well. So I know Brett did a video with the owner of the company as well. And I've watched some of it. I don't know why I keep getting distracted. <laughs> I need to finish it up. It is very, very interesting. I think it's one of those things where I'm watching it too late and it's like, oh, I gotta go to bed. I gotta go to work in the morning. So anyway, I need to finish that up because it was very interesting and to learn about the science of candle making and all of that. But anyway, you will see a haul with Crinkle Candle coming up. And yeah, I enjoyed, I love this scent and actually I did buy that. So spoiler alert on that one. I do love that scent. All right, I'm just finding candles everywhere. I see what I did here. So this was my candle that I pulled out this morning. So I turned it off last night and pulled it out this morning. This is Midnight Snack from Sonoma. Sugars, sugar berries and sprinkles. So this is really a cereal scent basically. I did burn it a couple of times, like I said, just to get the wax down a little bit and then put it in the candle crock this past Monday, so last week Monday, and had it going. And I will tell you, this was fantastic. This was last year's version. I haven't seen it this year. I would pick up another one or two to put in the candle crock. I kept walking into this office going, what is that smell? It smells so fabulous in here. And it was this. When I burned these, because I had at least one other one, I might've had two that I purchased because they were they smell so good on, on cold. I mean, you don't get anything now, but it reminds me of a Fruity Pebbles. That's what it reminds me of. It is, it, it is so good in here. When I burned it, it was not that strong. I could barely smell it. Definitely did well in the candle crock. And so, yeah, highly recommend crocking if you can find this. Put this in a candle crock or a smaller room and enjoy it that way. Throw wasn't great anywhere else. But I would say it was probably a six or a seven in here in the candle crock. So two thumbs up there. All right, so yes, we're finally jumping into some wax and other items. Where the heck did I put, oh, here it is. I'm telling you, I have it all spread out. 
Yeah, it was so funny because I had everything organized yesterday and then didn't end up doing it. And of course, you know, I work in this office as well. So I had to move it all. <laughs> it's like, okay. All right. So we had our soap of the week. This was a sugared spell. I mean, hello from Bath and Body Works. This says spooky sugared lemons, candy gumdrops, and sweet musk. This is sweet fairy gumdrop, one of my favorites. I don't know that I see it on any list for the winter. I'm so glad I have quite a few of those candles. I'm glad I stocked up because I know a lot of people are going to be really sad. But anyway, that's what the scent is. So maybe they'll still surprise us because it's not like they got rid of the scent. They repackage it for Easter and now... <laughs> For Halloween. Love this. It was great in the soap. I think I have one more. Would totally buy it again. I used up a conditioner from Trish at Belux Essentials. They, she is a part of L3. Sells the best shampoo and conditioner. There is no one that comes close. I love it. So this one was Strawberry Pound Cake Boardwalk Mallow Clouds. You can get the, pretty much whatever scent. I think she does customs. I keep talking about it, but she's been offering scents that I really like, so there hasn't been a need to do any customs. I purchased two conditioners for every one shampoo when she had these. I think it was the pre-order. Love this. Totally would get the scent again. I'm almost done with the shampoo and the scent, but yeah, so... I have other scents from her. I just ordered some more at their last RTS, so you'll be seeing those for hopefully a long time to come. We have Bath and Body Works Merry Cookie. I just finished this up from last year, so this was last year's version. It's coming back, so I grabbed a few of these when they had the, the mini sale last year, so be on the lookout for that. It's a great time to pick up some different scents and try them, traveling, whatever, but I'm not traveling that much, so I'm using up some of my minis. All right, I used up the Bathing Gardens Big Top Lemonade Shea Oil Sugar Scrub. Their sugar scrubs are the absolute best. Absol I just can't get anything that works better on my skin. Love this. This was such a bright, fresh, sunshiny lemon scent. Probably out of season, but I kind of grabbed one out of the cabinet and just went with it. I loved it. It was great. All right, so then we had two. We changed two wallflowers. This one is gingerbread. Let's see, this is old. And of course, does it say the scent notes? No, I decided I was looking through. Yeah, it says 650, so you, you know this was old. I was digging through some of my wallflowers. I'm like, let's use up some of the older ones. And this goes by my cat box. So I'm like, I can handle something over there that's not overpowering. If it was in here in this office, I might not like it too much. But anyway, so we used that over there. And peppermint sugar cookie. This is from last year. My son loves this scent. And I thought, let's just use it in his bathroom. Crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, and creamy butter. So we changed those two this week. All right, we have a lot of clamshells. I went through a lot. I was trying to use up some of these scents. And I think I did pretty good. I, you know, you buy more. And then it's like, where are you going to put them? <laughs> that's the problem that I have. So we have this sugar skull from the Day of the Dead collection from Sensationals. This smells like pink sugar to me. I love it. This one in my bathroom. I have a few more, maybe th hopefully three more of the these. I loved this. Performed well in terms of in the beginning. It futzes out within about four hours, I'm going to say. But if you can find this, especially on clearance, grab some if you like pink sugar. I have Better Homes and Gardens of Fresh Orchard Apples. This is a staple. I think, is this last year's packaging? It doesn't matter. But this is fabulous. If you can find this, I think some of the stores were clearancing them out, which makes me so sad. But this is the just the most fresh, juicy apple. I mix with it. I just love it. Okay, so we have a few scents. See, they're mixed in here, so we'll get to them as we, as we work our way through. This is Jack's Obsession from the Nightmare Before Christmas collection. I think you can still get these or at least order them, you know, put them in your club. I know a lot of people love this. This is not for me. I mean, it's better than a lot of apple cinnamon scents, but to me, it still has that spice component. So I like a peeling apple way better. That's my favorite. And then Johnny Appleseed. So this would come in a distant, <laughs> distant far third. So I don't need any more of this. I think I have one more. I might have purchased a couple at a time, so I have at least one more. We have, from the Villains Collection, Mistress of Evil. 
I have gone back and forth. I've put them in my car, in, in my car, in my club, taken them out, put them in, taken them out. I've taken them out now. I don't know what it is. There is a fruit in this that I don't like. And I don't know, is this the one that has the goji berry? I don't, I don't remember which one it is. So neither one of these, I had both that I melted this week because I wanted one last time. It's like, okay, I need to know if I'm going to keep them in my club or take them out. I ended up taking both of these out. So Ursula and the Mistress of Evil. So I think this is more of a plummy scent and this is the one with the goji bear. I don't know. I used them in my bathroom. They were stronger in there. So they did pretty well in there. I didn't love either one of them. So I have a few left of each one. That's another reason why I'm like, well, I have like three, I think, of each. So I'm like, I'm good. I think I'm okay. And so we'll, we'll use those here and there and enjoy them. So we have Scentsy Orchard Apple and Spice. I have two of these. I need to stop. Anytime it says Apple and Spice, <laughs> I need to not order it. This was not great. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I can see why people probably like it. It's just not for me. I don't like the apple spicy type scents. So it if you like those kinds of scents, you'll probably like it. It's just my weird nose that just does it. So I'm much more of a caramel like apple type person or just like fresh juicy apple or even like an apple bread that doesn't have a lot of spice. That's just the kind of thing that I like. All right, so Sensationals, we have Mexican sweet bread. I grabbed a few of these. They smell really nice, but I will say they're pretty light. And it's so funny because I almost get a slight nutty component or maybe like a cornbread type of note that is, it's very slight and in the background, but you'll like get whiffs of it and you'll smell it. This was pleasant. This is another one that I would say if you have guests over and you don't want to blow people out of the house, this is probably a nice one to use. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. I have a couple of them, but I did kind of stock up. I probably bought like six of each of the scents just in case because they come out once a year and we might not see them again. Might be a one and done type of thing. So I grabbed a few of them. I don't know that I would go out of my way next year to get a ton of them. But it was nice, it was pleasant, it was different. And another one that I did for the Day of the Dead collection was this three milk cake. I would say this is another one that's pretty light. And it kind of, it, but it does kind of remind me of the buttercream frosting on a cake. The thing about this is it's on the lighter side and it, like I say, futzed out or just kind of died out within four or five hours. For me, I use very, very hot warmers, so that could very well be the reason. But yeah, I probably have several of those left and will enjoy them, you know, but, and I might get more of those next year because I like that one better. That and the pink sugar were my favorites of the season so far. I think I have one or two more that I haven't melted, so we'll keep trying those and see which ones end up making the list for next year. We had Super Tarts, Daily Planet, Coffee, French Baguette, and Brown Sugar. I liked this one. It was nice. Very nice coffee. It smells like a cappuccino to me. That's what it really kind of smelled like. I don't know. That's not what it says, but it reminds me of like going into like a pre-made type of cappuccino. If you go into a gas station or if you like the 7-Eleven or whatever those types of things and you... You know, it's pre-made and you're putting it in your cup. That's what this kind of smelled like. It was good. I enjoyed it. More Scentsy. Ugh, another one. Cranberry Pumpkin Spice. No. I, no. Oh, no. I grabbed some apple, you know, like apple spice scents, which again, I will be learning my lesson, hopefully. You guys, stop me if you see me doing that. I've grabbed a few of those and then I did the same thing with pumpkin. I have figured out I like more of like the pumpkin spice latte scent or like a pumpkin pie filling without a lot of spice. When I make pumpkin pie, I don't like douse it in spice. So I don't know why a lot of manufacturers do that. It's like they're trying to make up for the lack of the pumpkin smell maybe. I don't know why they do that. But anyway, this was one of those that I just, it wasn't for me. I love pumpkin roll. So I will say that pumpkin roll was really good and scary good was really good. <laughs> really, really good. And so, you know, sometimes you have to try different scents. I would have never known that if I wouldn't have purchased pumpkin roll and scary good. So 
you know, that was just one of those scents that I was trying to find the perfect pumpkin scent from Scentsy. This, uh, oh, oh, mm, no. <laughs> this is Halloween Town from the Nightmare Before Christmas collection from Scentsy. So to me, I know it had, it said apples, right? And cedarwood and something else. I don't know. I just get a weird, not even fully cedarwood. Like it's trying to be cedarwood, but it's not really. I, I don't know. This is strange. I have one more clam. I need to figure out what to do with it. If you have any mixing ideas. <laughs> I did reach out to Lisa Roberry. I watch her vlogs on the weekends and they have a section where they do a QA. and a I reached out and said, hey, <laughs> do you have any mixing ideas for this one? Because I have one more clam. Need to know what I can do with it to try to cover that up or something. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what she says. But yeah, that was not a favorite. But I'm ending on a couple of favorites for these clamshells. This sensational salted caramel butter cream. Butter scream? Yeah, butter. Wow. Butter scream. This is so good. I It's so funny because I'm really a seasonal melter. And in the summer, I was like, ugh, what? Ugh, it's too, like, <laughs> caramelly sweet. I don't know. Now I'm like, woo, that's so good. It is. It's very, very good. So very nice caramel. This almost smells a little apple-y to me, which I'm not upset about because I love caramel apple. This was great. Really like it. But my favorite, which I need to stock up on, I need to go, maybe need to go later tonight. Oof, oak and rye. <laughs> this salted caramel. I'm afraid these are going to be gone because I think these came out for the fall. I know that my Kroger store was like picked over of all Halloween and fall wax by like end of September. There there was only just like dredges of stuff that nobody wanted. I think I grabbed a few at a couple of different Kroger, maybe like two or three at each. Oh, this is so good. I don't even, so if you smell it on the clam, you're kind of like, eh, what, you know, but like if you warm it up, it just transforms. It's so good. It almost reminds me a little bit of like pumpkin pecan waffles or a salted caramel type of cookie scent. It's definitely bakery. It is so good. This is the perfect mixer scent, which I may end up putting in with Halloween Town. I just hate to wait <laughs> to waste this in case it doesn't turn out great, but because this I think is just a limited time offer scent. If I can grab a whole bunch more of these, I might do that because this is this is a hoard scent for me. So Salted Caramel, if you can find these and you like those types of scents, mm, do yourself a favor and grab these. Okay, so I am going to stop this video here and do part two, just because I had so many candles and I've rambled on with body care and clamshells. I'm going to pause it here. We'll do a part two of the empties for the rest of my vendor wax. So if you are interested in vendor wax empties, stay tuned for part two these videos go too long and then <laughs> it takes like six hours to render and upload to YouTube. It's just crazy. And I need a faster computer. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be getting one this Christmas, but anywho. <laughs> so stay, to, stay tuned for part two. That's hard to say and I will see you soon. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.